Hey, it's Mr. D. Uh, this is our physical science uh, week three weekly starter video for module one. Um, this week, uh, watch this weekly starter video, take the weekly starter quiz. And if you didn't share your interactive science notebook with me, I will not grade it that way. So you've got to embed it in the submission link. Um, where, that, where that submission folder is, you click on it and there's a blue button on the right hand side at the top that says submit assignment. From there, you can embed the Google Slides uh, and submit it, and that's easier for me to grade um, than trying to manage all of those shared documents. So I won't grade it that way, so you need to go back and resubmit, and feel free to reach out to me if you have questions about that. This week, we're going to talk about the SI system, the International System of Units, or Le Système International des Units, which is French for that same thing. And scientists use the SI system worldwide because it gives measurements uh, and easily understood by all scientists. So it gives us a baseline to all work with and all communicate with. It's like, uh, one scientist using the English system and speaking French and one scientist um, using the SI system and speaking German. If we use different systems where we don't have, you know, a comparative norm, we get stuck because we're speaking two different languages. So the SI system is a way for us to use numbers to speak the same language. And these measurements are easier to convert than the English system and easier to understand. So when we talk about the SI system, we're talking about a couple different types of measurement, length, volume, mass, time, temperature, density, and pH. And length uh, gives us distance, um, volume gives us the amount of space something takes up, and mass measures the amount of matter in an object. Different than weight, which is the measure of gravitational pull, but we'll get into that later. So the measurement system comparisons, uh, we have the yard or the inch in English or the meter or centimeter. For mass, we have ounce and we have pound. We have a couple different other ones, but we have the gram for mass in the SI system. For volume, we have quarts um, or liters, depending on or not. We have quarts or gallons or things like that. But for the SI system, we have liter. For temperature, we have Fahrenheit. And, um, but in the SI system, we have Celsius or Kelvin. But time, we share the second. That's the one thing we can seem to agree on. But all measurements have standards, and those standards are exact quantities that we've all agreed upon to use as the basis of comparison. And we'll take a look at those. In the English system, you have to remember so many numbers. There's 12 inches in a foot, 3 feet in a yard, 52, 80 feet in a mile, 16 ounces in a pound, 4 quarts to a gallon. But in the SI system, you only have to remember one number. And you have to remember that the SI system is based on the number 10 and multiples of 10. That's how we do conversions. So when we look at something, our base unit, so like let's say the gram is our base unit for mass, one gram is gonna uh, be our base unit. And uh, if we have a kilogram, we know it's 1,000 times that. If we have a hectogram, it's 100 times that. A decagram is 10 times that. So you see that pattern of tens being the multiples or um, being being the fraction of. A deca is one-tenth. A centa is one one-hundredth of a gram, a centigram. Um, a milligram is one one-thousandth. So these are all multiples of 10. So this system works with any SI measurement, and the unit becomes whatever type of measurement you are making, whether it's mass, volume, or length. Um, it's the same system regardless of whether you're using length, mass, or volume. This is not the case in the English system, which makes it more complicated. That's why we use the SI system. That's all, folks. Um, we're going to go over how to convert these in the SI system and how to convert between different uh, metric measurements. So I will see you Wednesday, and we will have a lot of fun uh, going over how to convert and uh, setting up conversion factors. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me.